What's up, y'all? It's your boy, C. Mia. C from the D. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's up? Happy Thursday to you. It's your boy, C. Mia. C from the D. Coming at y'all live one more again. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Please tell me today was a good day for you. You know what I'm saying? Children of the Light family, what's up? How y'all doing? Salute. Everybody out there on that positive energy. How y'all doing? Today, your boy C from the D. want to talk to you about the four most feelings that a narcissist will feel. How sweet it is. How sweet it is. That was my jam right there. The four most feelings that a narcissist will feel. That's what we talking about today. Now, narcs, y'all, I don't know if y'all want to get out this channel. Nah, nah. <laughs> As we going in. The four most feelings that a narc will feel today on the show, I'm going to tell you. Envy, jealousy, rage, and shame. Envy, jealousy, rage, and shame. Those are the four most feelings that a narcissist will feel. Now, you know that the narc, they cannot control their emotions. They cannot, like, manage the emotions really good. They, they not good at that. They can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because they have that dead spirit on them. You know what I'm saying? They got them spirits. The spirits that got kicked out of heaven. You know what I'm saying? What is everything? Everything about Satan is what? Death and destruction. Decay. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no life in it. You know what I'm saying? The spirits that's on them don't have life. That's why the narcissist can't they can't do emotions. They can't produce emotions. They don't have authentic emotions. That's why they emulate everybody. That's why they emulate you. That's why the narc be around you. Because you you authentically create emotions. Real emotions. They can't do that. They don't even they can't even do that. They don't even know how the spirit that's on them is a dead spirit. Those spirits got kicked out of heaven. They don't know how to produce real emotions because the real person that's inside that body it has given up a lot of stuff to that evil spirit that's on them the evil spirit that's on them they they can't produce emotions they they a dead spirit they alive in the spirit world but they a dead spirit they can't produce emotions man you know and, and it's, it's crazy because you see them moving and you know they alive but they got a different discernment on them. They got a different spirit on them. You know what I'm saying? They can't produce emotions, man. They can't deal with feelings and stuff. They don't know how to process that. That's why when the narc, when they do stuff, sometimes they got to stay away from you for a long time or a short period of time. But they don't know how to process those emotions. I done seen narcs be so mad they can't even talk. You know what I'm saying? They can't even get words out their mouth. You know, which is crazy. How you can't talk? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, like, people get upset. That's true. But to the point where you can't even express yourself, that's crazy because that's, I told you, that's a dead spirit on them. They got kicked out of heaven. That spirit of decay and destruction. You know what I'm saying? Those, but that's why they can only feel bad feelings, which is this, which is feelings of envy, jealousy, rage, and shame. Because you know why? Those those are the feelings that Satan feels. Those are the feelings he felt when he got mad at God and Jesus. When he got mad at God and jealous of God, he got jealous of God. They go to jealousy right there. So that's why narcs narcs get jealous quick. Narcs get jealous quick. You know what I mean? Um, the envy, you know what I'm saying? He envied, you know, like, why y'all worshiping him, you know? He created you, fool. You know? You can't say that, you know what I'm saying? 
You can never outdo the master, man. That's one of the rules, you know what I'm saying? 40 laws of power. The rage. Satan probably was dipped in rage, engulfed in rage, you know what I'm saying? Especially when the angels came up against him, you know? Like, you got to go. It's, it's over with, you know what I'm saying? Plus, the spirit that's on whatever narc you got, your narcissist, is enraged because it could never ever have the chance to be in the glory of God and Jesus Christ ever again. It's over with. They gave up that right because guess what? This the kicker. Now that listen to this. They all follow a liar. This is how like the narc lie to you and mislead you on a lot of stuff. Mess with your perception. They all follow Satan. Satan said, hey, you ride with me, we gonna win. They are pissed. Because they follow Satan. Satan lied to them. He told them a lie. So he deceived them. And now they gave up their right to everlasting life. And the joy and the majesticness of God and Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. The Trinity. Yeah. It's deep. They got lied to. They got narcissized first. So they mad. You know what I'm saying? They on fire. They infuriated. You know what I'm saying? Because they could never, ever go back to the glory from which they came. You know what I'm saying? And it was a wonderful glory to be a part of. That glory that God gives, he gives life, man. He gives good feelings, happy feelings, man. Peace, joy, happiness, man. You can't beat that. You can't buy that. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why the narcissist wants to destroy you. It's terrible. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they just go, go out, God off a way, not God, Satan off a ways to take your peace away, to destroy your life, to make you not have a happy ending. You know what I'm saying? And it's terrible, man. You know what I'm saying? They cannot regulate emotions. They live in darkness. They live in a dark spirit with a dark spirit. That's the, the spirit is tormenting them constantly. So that's why they torment you because they got to get life out of somebody. They want that. That's why the narcissist go so hard with that reaction from you. Because you can, you can produce real emotions. But you must reside in the power of God and Jesus Christ. If you want to beat that narc. You know what I'm saying? Period. If you got want to have a chance at defeating that narc, you must plead the blood of Jesus over you. You must stay in your word. You must have a relationship with God. See, they don't have a relationship with God. They know they don't even have a chance to have one because they was deceived. My man told them to ride with them, and they rode with rode with him, and they did. And now they gave up so much. They gave up so much because of a lie. You know what I'm saying? Which is unbelievable, man. Like you, they y'all right there with God. Like, come on, man. That's Satan. I, I, man, Satan would have had a hard time convincing me. You know what I'm saying? I don't even like. <laughs> I don't <even> like. <laughs> I like. Hey, I was like, I don't know about that one, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't rock with you, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's where that jealousy, the envy, the rage, and the uh, shame come from. Because you know they feel the shame. You know they feel with shame. We can't be with the glory, the glorious one, the Lord of hosts, the King of King, the Lord of Lords. We can't chill with him. That gives all peace, all sovereignty. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that's a bad dude. So, you know, that's why the narc, the narc could not produce authentic emotions. They have a hard time when they get emotion. If they feel different ways, they don't know how to, like, you know, maturely attack them, you know what I'm saying, and deal with the emotions, man. That's something they just can't do, man, you know what I'm saying, because that bad spirit on them, man. So, you know, when you're dealing with a narc, man, like, all you got to do is just not believe they lies, man, and stay and hold them accountable, you know what I'm saying, because if you hold them accountable, that put them in rage, man. And when you don't buy into they, they, they narcissistic, they try to reel you in to an argument. They'll start something with you. And reel you in and start arguing with you about it. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be like, wait a minute, what's going on? But you know what I'm saying? Don't buy into their foolishness, man, because it's all demonic, man. 
It's all demonic, man. It's all bad, you know. So don't buy into the narcissists, you know what I'm saying, that push and pull. Don't buy into, you know, them trying to trick you into an argument and a fight. Don't let them steal your joy and your peace and your happiness, man. That's why you got to get away from them because until, like I said, until something really, like, rock their world, they won't wake up. They won't see the real on uh, all the mayhem and the melee and malice that they causing because of that spirit, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? Once again, this is your boy, C, Mill, C from the D, telling you what's really going on with these narcs, man, with these dark triad people, man. You know what I'm saying? That's involving themselves in the dark Lord's workings, man. You know what I'm saying? You be involved with what is right. You know what I'm saying? You regulate your emotions. You act maturely. You act, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cordial, man. You you, you make, make sense of the situation. If you can't make sense of it, man, then ain't no situation because it's immature. It's foul. You know what I'm saying? It's of the dark triad, you know? So don't buy into their stuff, man. I'm telling you, man. And th that's all they can feel is, is envy, jealousy, <clears throat> rage, and envy, jealousy, rage, and shame. Because you know they didn't did so much bull crap, like they be feeling ashamed because they don't have a consciousness. So they didn't go, they didn't went and slept with two, three people at one time. They didn't, they didn't slept with the, the 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 girl down the street and around the block. You know, some of your friends, your family members. You know, they they just atrocious with it, man. They just don't have no morals, man. Like a dog, you know, they just everywhere with it. So, hey, man, you know, plead the blood of Jesus over you, man pray stay away from their tricks man and they cannot regulate emotions man when they go to the new supply they try to emulate the emotions that you that they seen out of you or from a movie or from a tv show or from you know one of the kids or something they can't they just look at what other people do and they emulate that when the time is right now they masters at picking up on how you feel so don't be feeling pitiful and don't be feeling sorry and don't be feeling uh, ashamed and down and out and depressed. They pick up on that and they pick and that kick them into action to be more devious and more demonic with it. So don't buy into that bull. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. This your boy C, me or C from the D, trying to enlighten my people, man. You know what I'm saying? So that we learn how to defeat this dark triad spirit and these dark triad people, man. Children of the light, salute. The COL family, hey, y'all keep your heads up, man. Stay prayed up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way, man. I'm telling you, living good reaps a lot of benefits. Living in a good spirit reaps a lot of benefits. It promotes success. It promotes love. It promotes growth financially, mentally, in intellectually, spiritually. It promotes uh, happiness and togetherness with your kids and your family. You know what I'm saying? You got that good vibe on you, man. God will bless you, man, and promote you in your job, man. You know what I'm saying? Help you win your lawsuit. Help you, you know, gain, you know, a, a business or your entrepreneurship. But you're not going to get it living in in the dark, in the dark light. You're not going to get it living in the shadows, being with the dark spirits and stuff. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. It ain't even worth it, man. It don't have no benefits to it. I'm telling you. Straight up. It's like working for, you got two bosses. One is Satan and one is Jehovah Jireh. One is God, the Most High. It's benefits that come with his, <laughs> with being with him. Satan, no benefits. It's all downhill, decay, destruction, tearing your life up, man. You'll just start losing stuff. You'll lose your house, your car. you lose your mind. you lose your friends. you lose everything because they trying to make you lose your friends. They're trying to make you lose your relationships. They're trying to wedge themselves between you and somebody, people that you care about. They're trying to destroy all your friendships, your relationships with your family. They're trying to put you in shame. They're trying to put you in jealousy and rage and envy. No, that's what they feeling. And remember, when they come to you and say, are you cheating or doing that? That's called projection. They are projecting what they're doing behind your back onto you. But they got, they are trying to let it out because they can't, they can't regulate emotions. So they know that's what they did. And so they're going to blame it on you. But they got to just let it out their mouth. So I'm telling you, man, they do projection big time. So they cannot process emotions. They cannot regulate themselves. So 
This your boy, C. Mill, signing out. Hit that like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Hey, thanks for tuning in for, with me. Thanks for valuing my words. Thanks for chilling with me. I appreciate you. Hey, y'all have a blessed night. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. C. Mill, C. from the D with Esoteric Teachers, signing out, man. Peace. Y'all have a blessed one, man. Love y'all. Peace. Detroit, what's up? Peace to everybody in all the major cities, all the minor cities, everywhere in the world. And don't forget to pray about this thing we got going on with this war going on with Iraq and all this stuff. And hope we don't get too involved and it don't affect us that bad in the name of Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed one, man. It's your boy C. Mill, C. from the D. Signing out. Children of the Light, salute. Peace.